in China, grew up in Texas, and was born in the Congo. Well, that's quite a world traveler at his young age. Well, my thing is, Kevin, did he keep all the miles? That's going to help out. <laughs> you know, he's worked really closely with Coach Malone to improve his game during his rookie year, and he plays with a high level of confidence. We'll see in the next couple seasons how that develops. 44 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. The basket drops and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Payne, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Denver shooting their third free throw shot of the game. And if you're a Timberwolves fan, you have got to be ecstatic about the future of this team. I mean, as good a young talent as we have in our league, good cap space flexibility, and just a lot of positives moving forward. Shot clock at six. And Rush kicks to Hill. And he gets the button. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. And now the fast break. Hill with the ball. Rubio outside. The feed to Muhammad. No good from outside. Rubio, no good trying to beat the bus. Either team able to build much of a lead up to this point as we start the second quarter. And when you consider how Denver is doing, guys, what are your thoughts? They come out the gates here strong and put together just a solid first quarter. Well, they've carved out a nice little advantage here, really by dictating the pace early on. Here's Barton. On the court for the Timberwolves as our second quarter is underway. A high-flying pair of Levine and Wiggins of the two and the three. Carl Anthony Towns is out there with Jang, and it's done in at the one. And you have to feel good about seeing Gallinari out there healthy. He's missed so much time in his career, Brent, due to injuries that you just can't prepare for. I mean, imagine in the prime of your playing career to miss an entire season. He came back better than ever from his knee surgery. And you always wonder if players returning from such injuries will be more cautious with their play. It's interesting to see Gallinari regaining that confidence and form. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Arthur dishes to Gallinari. Nurk gets the pass to Murray. They get it back. You know, altered shots don't show up on the official stat sheet, but as we saw there, he does a great job of... Oh! Yes, sir. Hey, guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close <laughs> game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatics. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, <laughs> didn't he? My goodness. <laughs> And Gary Harris is a guy who I feel is just taking strides. A little undersized as a two guard in this modern NBA. Needs to work on his range, but can play a little bit above his listed height. He is very fearless when he goes inside trying to attack the rim. Denver making a switch here. Fareed is checked in, and Levine throws it down. Extra on that one, fellas. Nobody's stopping that. Not when he comes in there with that tomahawk. That's just too much force. And talking about Gary Harris, who played a while at Michigan State, listed at 6'4, but you'll see him going up over two or even three defenders in the lane. Well, that just tells me, Kevin, he's got extreme confidence in his ability. Reminds me a bit size-wise of Dwayne Wade, and he does the same sort of things in attacking the rim. Very efficient in the offensive zone when he gets in there. Dunn kicks to Jen. Golinari with the steal. And stolen by Wiggins. And it's Towns penetrating. And the dunk by Towns. This tug of war game continues. And guys, that's lucky number seven already in this game. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Olsen. Well, guys, Andrew Wiggins' ball handling lagged behind the rest of his game before he came to the NBA. But he's found he can use his size to post up immediately. It's a talent that many players don't develop until they've been in the league for years. Kevin, he's got the footwork, and as his skills develop, 
He's almost certain to become a superstar. Sure does. Thanks, D.A. Denver with a platoon swap here on the floor. Aldrich. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. And Rubio kicks to Rush. That's good. It's Rubio with the assist. Rush has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Martin passes to Hernan Gomez. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Well, the defense knew exactly how to play his man there. An outstanding effort. Here's Muhammad. The shot, no good. Now Denver takes it the other way. And the foul on Will Barton. That's his first foul. Yet way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Whole new look on the floor for Minnesota. In the corner, it's Jang. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Jang's got six. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Barton drives in, and the rejection by Jang. Dunn dishes to Towns, to the paint, and Levine throws it down. Well, that's one of his best attributes, is his passes hit guys in stride. And the first half comes... The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hi again, everybody. Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It was a closely contested first quarter for Minnesota. Some good action during the period, as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. They asserted themselves nicely in the second quarter and now have a fairly comfortable five-point lead here at halftime. And, uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Timberwolves? That's it for now, as the second half is just about ready to go. We, and I mean the three of us, will be right here after the final buzzer. And it's been a back and forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. It's been quite a game for Gary Harris. And he just went off in those first two quarters, guys. He's capable of doing that on a consistent basis as well. So we might see some changes from a defensive standpoint as they try to disrupt his rhythm in the second half. There's got to be some consideration that double teams will be sent his way. Of course, that's going to leave someone else wide open. Moody and Harris are their lengthy guard set. Gallinari and Fareed the duel with the forward. And it's Chandler in at the five spot. That's the group on the floor for Denver. And, and no matter what, one of the big positives they can take away from this game is how well they perform at the line. And he just dangles from the bucket <laughs> after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. The Timberwolves hitting their fifth free throw of the game here. And last season, as a team, they knocked down 79% of their free throws. So those are numbers you'll be happy with. And that's how the coach would draw it up on the fast break from start to finish. Exactly. They get out quickly, executed to perfection. And it's Wiggins with the jam. His ball distribution tonight, just as good as it gets. And sometimes it's about your teammates moving to give you those opportunities. He's found holes in the defense. Fires the three. Harris kicks to Chandler. Shoots a three. Out of bounds. Minnesota takes possession for the Nuggets. Arthur comes in for Wilson Chandler. And Murray subbed in for Moutier. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Now here's Muhammad, guarded by Harris. Aldrich, the pass to Muhammad. And defense, not always something that gets a ton of attention, Brent, but it's the other half of the coin. Uh, it makes a difference when you think of perimeter defense. Uh, who comes to mind as best guys at that position? Well, Kawhi Leonard is causing all kinds of havoc for multiple players in our league right now from the wing. And you combine his athleticism, his length, his timing, and then the stability, Kevin, of really the defensive structure around him. That really pronounces him as one of the game's premier defenders. The versatility, him, Green, I mean, these guys can card a lot of different positions. Yeah, again, there's ways that great coaches in our league teach professional teams that you can also have schemes defensively and just as many plays defensively to be effective on that end of the floor. But that part is about effort. A 
chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. And Gallinari kicks to Arthur. The layup off target. Whoops. Got caught in between moves there on his way to the rack. Hama dishes to Rubio. Feeds it to Aldrich. And Rush kicks to Hill. It's stolen by Arthur. And now the Nuggets. Fast break. And Harris wide open. He shoots and air balls the triple. That one was way off. Here's Rush. Gullin are recovering. It's tipped. Come in, come in. To end the drought. No good on the shot. Hello and thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play should begin momentarily. Timberwolves leading by nine. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. So on the floor for Minnesota. A high-flying pair of Levine and Wiggins of the two and the three. Zhang is out there with Towns, and it's done in at the point. And for the Nuggets, they're shooting 32% overall right now. Not one of their better showings. But he gets it back. Martin inside the line, and the call will be against Emmanuel Moody. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, not afraid of the physical play, but he still needs to stay under control. Wiggins passes to Dang, pushing their lead to double digits. Zhang's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Timberwolves. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And here's Chandler from the arc. Minnesota with the rebound. Here's Dunn. He feeds it to Towns. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Dunn dishes to Levine. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. And the Timberwolves lead by 13. Denver calls timeout. Well, you take a look at Chris Dunn out of Providence, it's easy to see what talent evaluators see in this young man. 6'4", long arms, strength, blinding quickness. He is an NBA athlete, and then some. In a draft year that was light on point guards, you knew he'd be one of the first to hear his name called. Martin inside the line, and a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. It's on Zach Levine. I think Will Barton has figured out that scoring from the free throw line can be a good thing. Two shots. He's off on the second. In watching Will Barton play, or rather as he's known, the people's champ, <laughs> you know, Brett, you have to love the energy and aggression that he plays with whenever he's out there on the floor. Well, there's something about the blue-collar player, Kevin, that I think everybody who's a fan of the game always is attracted to. That's what Will Barton does. Very easy to cheer for, and he gives you everything he's got every night. Chandler, the pass to Hernan Gomez, and stolen by Wiggins. Here's Levine, and Levine throws it down. And guys got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. A terrific anticipation using the hands. How are you not protecting the basketball in that situation? And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Timberwolves. Starting five must have been happy to get so much help from the reserves in this game. And they not only lightened the load, the subs did nothing less than guarantee a win. And when you look back at this one, what an amazing performance this was for Wiggins. Man, that guy just spent so much energy tonight at the offensive end of the floor. You'd think his defense would have suffered. Well, not in the least. He was awesome on both ends. And the Timberwolves call time. They're up by 15. 106 left here in the fourth quarter. Still believe that the Nuggets play their best when the ball is moving around. They rely on ball movement to create shots and open up opportunities. They don't have a lot of great isolation players. Here's what Denver's going with right now. Norkic checked in for Champ. Arthur comes in for Jokic. And Murray subbed in for Moutier. Hernan Gomez passes to Norkic. The kick out to Barton. 
with the fadeaway. And the pass to Hernan Gomez. Let's it go with a three. Payne grabs the board. And here is Muhammad. Kicks it to Payne. He feeds it to Aldrich. Muhammad dishes to Payne. And Payne slams it in. And this is going to be a fantastic result for them. No win on the road comes easy. Yeah, their aggressiveness, their execution really silenced a raucous crowd. Love the attitude they came in with here. That's good by Hernan Gomez. Yeah, getting after it right now. You love the passion and desire on that play. Excellent rebound and then the stick back. Nurkic with it. Barton kicks to Arthur. And the dunk by Arthur. Hit his teammate right in stride. That's a great assist. Rubio outside. Here's Payne. Off with the layup. And so it's the Timberwolves taking care of business here. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about.